Hi guys, how is it going? It's Sabi here again with another new video. So in today's video, I will tell you that how you can be able to fix Hello Neighbor game which crashes on a startup but this time without turning off your Wi-Fi or internet. So let's do those settings which can be able to help you fixing this game. All right, so before doing those settings, what I'm going to do, I'm going to launch this Hello Neighbor game and let's see if it crashes or not. So I'll click on the Hello Neighbor game and let's see when does it crash. So it crashed straight away. I'll try it second time and let's see if it crashed second time. All right, it crashed straight away. So it doesn't matter how many times you try launching this game without doing those settings, it will crash and you won't be able to play this game. Now the settings I will tell you are just magic guys. You will be amazed that with doing those simple setting, you would be able to play this game forever. All right, so let's go into those settings all right so what you got to do first that you click on this pc on your laptop or computer which is you can see this pc on my left and i click on this pc and then you got to click on your internal hard drive where you have all the application and softwares are installed so i have got only one drive which is c drive i will click on c drive and then here in c drive i will click on the folder called program files x86 all right, so I'll click on that and then here under program files x86 folder, I will click on steam folder. So this is a steam folder. I will click on that and then under steam folder, I will click on steam apps folder, which is here steam apps folder and under steam apps folder, I will click on common folder. All right, so under common folder, I will click on this folder, which is called hello neighbor. So I'll click on hello neighbor folder and under hello neighbor folder, I will click on engine folder and in engine folder, I will click on the folder called extras. All right, and under extras folder, you got to click on the only folder which is here, it called reddest. And under reddest folder, the only folder which is here is en-us, I'll click on that. And here under en-us folder, there is an exe file. You got to install this exe file, all right? So I'll click on that and then I'll tick on I agree to the license term and conditions and click on install and then click yes and then this exe file has been installed so after doing this step the second step what you got to do is you got to type in search option at the bottom of your screen env so as soon as you type env uh, there is um, on the right side you will see it says edit the system environment variable so until you won't type env that uh, that uh, thing wouldn't come up so when you type env on your right side at the top it says edit the system environment variables control panel and then just below that you got to click on this open thing open icon so i click on open and then this box will open which is called system properties under system properties just at the bottom of this uh, box click on environmental variable so when you click on environmental variables there are two boxes here so the bottom box you got to click on new so when you click on new there is a another box is open new system variables so under these two values under variable name and under variable value you got to type something or you can copy paste that um, information or whatever i'm just going to show you right now so here i have got saved here i've got this saved here for the variable name i'm gonna copy this thing and then I will go back to this this thing, this box, and then I'll paste it here under variable name. And then I'll go back to the same page and then I'll copy this code, which is for variable value. And then I'll go back to the same box. And then under variable value, I'll copy paste this code or whatever you call it. And then I'll click on OK. And then I'll click on OK again. And then I'll click on OK again. And that's it, guys. You have done the setting. And let's try launch this game once again and see if it crashes or not. So I'll click on hello neighbor now and let's see if it crashes. Okay, so far so good. Wow, it has passed that stage where it was crashing.
beautiful it's still continuing amazing press enter and then press new game yes all right so far so good it still hasn't crashed like the way it was crashing just just at the launch of the game okay let's keep playing see if it crashes all right Let's pass this huh? cut scene and see if it crash. guys did you see this guys the cut scene is over and i'm playing the game right now and it hasn't crashed doing those settings what i have just done and there is another way you can be able to fix this game if you simply turn off your wifi or internet the game wouldn't crash so there are two different ways now you can be able to fix this uh, crash issue of hello neighbor uh, by doing these settings and by doing by just simply turning off your internet so that video of mine about turning off internet i have made it some time ago if you want to have a look at that video there is a link you will see um in few seconds all right so this is the link at the bottom right and um you can watch that video and you will see by just simply turning off your wifi you will be able to fix the crash issue of this hello neighbor game all right guys this is it for today i hope you like this video and found this video really helpful please make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell for all the latest upcoming videos and i will see you in my next video until then goodbye